pupils, how are you? I hope that you are all in good health. I'm sure that all of you are very excited to learn the topic for today. Alright pupils, before I start the lesson, let me introduce myself. I am Uma Devi, daughter of Mohan from SJKT Jalan Fletcher, Kuala Lumpur and you can call me Teacher Uma. With us is our sign language interpreter, Encik Muhammad Buhari bin Che Hassan from SKPK Selangor. Today, I am going to teach you a very interesting topic. Are you ready, pupils? Yes, I can see how excited you are. All right. Before we start our lesson, hopefully you are prepared with your notebook and stationery. Dear peoples, let's take a look at the pictures that I have prepared. Based on the overall diagram given, can you try to guess what we will learn today? Exactly peoples, today we will learn the topic on space. Before that, it is good for us to go through the objectives of our lesson today. So, let us take a look at the slide. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the types of prisms, square prisms, Rectangular prisms and triangular prisms. Describe and label the parts of the prisms according to their surfaces, base, vertices, and edges. Compare prisms and non prisms based on the characteristics. Peoples, I hope that you will be able. To understand the lesson today. Now pupils, let's look at this diagram. There are three types of prisms, namely square prisms, rectangular prisms and triangular prisms. Square prism is also called a cube in three-dimensional shape while a rectangular prism is also called a cuboid in three-dimensional shape. Here are three types of prisms that we will learn today. Now, let me explain in more detail the parts of each type of prism. First, Let's look at the parts of a square prism. The red dot on the square prism is called vertex and a square prism has 8 vertices. The line on the side as shown on the screen is called an edge and a square prism has 12 edges. The part that has been shaded in red is called the base. Besides the base, the other parts of a square prism are called flat surfaces and a square prism has 6 flat surfaces. Next, let us look at the parts of a rectangular prism. Just as in the previous pictures of the square prism, the red dot seen here in this rectangular prism is the vertex and a rectangular prism has six vertices. Meanwhile, the line on the side as shown on the screen is called an edge The part that has been shaded in red as shown on the screen is called the base of this prism. 
Next, besides the base, the other parts of the rectangular prism are called flat surfaces and a rectangular prism has six flat surfaces. Now, we are going to look at the final prism which is the triangular prism. Dear peoples, now, can you try to guess what this red dot is? Ha! Huh, that's right! They are the vertices of a triangular prism. Next, this red line shows the edges of the triangular prism. Alright, pupils, can you tell me which part is the base of this prism? Hmm, your answer is incorrect. This is a common mistake made by most pupils. Two opposite surfaces of the same shape are known as the base of the prism as shown on the screen. Now, I hope that you understand how to identify the base of a prism. The part that has been shaded in red as shown on screen is the surface of the triangular prism. Dear pupils, did you know that prisms have a special feature? Ha! Huh. If a prism is cut across, the shape of the cross section remains the same. Please look at the screen. It shows a triangular prism. When it is cut into three parts, the cross sectional shape remains the same. The shape of the cross section remains the same even if it is cut across in several parts. Isn't that interesting? Yes, it is. And now, we will learn the characteristic of a prism. Come on, let us start. As we have learned before, there are three types of prisms, namely square prisms, rectangular prisms and triangular prisms. Let's look at the characteristic of the prisms that we have learned today. Dear pupils, please take note that the characteristic of a square prism and a rectangular prism are the same. So, I have simplified it by combining them together. Now, we will count the number of surfaces of a square prism. Come on, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, let's count the number of surfaces of a rectangular prism. Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we can conclude that these two prisms have six surfaces. The number of surfaces of these two prisms is six. Now, let us begin to count the number of surfaces for a triangular prism. One, two, three, four, five. So, a triangular prism has five surfaces. The number of surfaces of a triangular prism is five. Now, we will count the number of edges of each prism. Let us begin with the square prism. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, let's count the number of edges of the rectangular prism. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व सो दिस टू प्रिजम्स हैव ट्वेल्व एडजस्ट The number of edges of these two prisms is 12. Come on, let us count for the triangular prism now. 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9 So, the triangular prism has 9 edges. The number of edges of a triangular prism is 9. is 9 Dear pupils now we will count the number of vertices for each prism Let us begin with the square prism 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Now let's count the number of vertices of the rectangular prism 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these two prisms have eight vertices the number of vertices of these two prisms is 8 next let us count the number of vertices of the triangular prism All right peoples next we will learn about prisms and non prisms are you ready come on let's take a look now peoples what is a prism firstly a prism has five or more flat surfaces secondly in prisms has two opposite surfaces of the same shape and size each call the base thirdly a prism has no curved surfaces dear peoples please look at the screen here are the types of prisms that we have just learned they are the square prism the rectangular prism and the triangular prism well peoples We have already learned what is prism. Now we will see what a non-prism shape is. What do you understand by non-prism? Ha! Huh, don't worry. I will help you out. Firstly, a non-prism has a curved surface. Secondly, a non-prism also does not have two opposite surfaces of the same shape. especially as the base now let's take a look at the screen the following are the forms of non prism they are cylinder cone sphere all these shapes are known as non prism because they have curved surface people Did you know that the pyramid is also a non-prism? This is because it does not have two opposite surfaces of the same shape which is the base. Dear pupils, we are almost at the end of today's learning session. Before that, I would like to do a review of what you have learned today. Firstly, you learn about the different types of prisms namely the square prism, the rectangular prism and the triangular prism. Secondly, you are now able to describe and label the parts of the prisms that are the surfaces, the base, the vertices and the edges. And lastly, you are now able to compare prisms and non prisms according to their characteristics i hope that all of you enjoyed our learning session today 
bell pupils. I have also provided some additional exercises for you. Please scan the QR code as shown on screen to get your additional exercise. Upon completion, you may check the answers with your mathematics teacher. That's all for today. I will see you again in another session. Thank you and bye!